in this uh, video we will talk about three important terms related to muscle and muscle contraction. The first one is muscle fatigue. The next oxygen death and the third is rigor mortis. All these are related to muscles. When we are talking about the first one that is muscle fatigue. What exactly happens in muscle fatigue is or if we have to uh, define what exactly muscle fatigue is, it is loss of power or we can say decrease in the power of contraction. Decre decrease in power of contraction due to sustained stimulus. Due to sustained stimulus. That means if the stimulus is continuously going on and the muscle has to contract for a long period of time, then the condition that is muscle fatigue is caused. What we know about muscle contraction now is that initially the energy is supplied by first uh, few minutes energy is supplied by ATP because the muscle has a stock of ATP. The muscle is contracted for a longer period of time. So initially ATP will fulfill that uh, requirement of energy. After that creatine phosphate will change into ATP that will uh, help in muscle contract. We have seen these things in detail. Now, if the muscle is still in the contracted state, the ATP requirement is increasing or is continuous. Then, anaerobic breakdown of glycogen or glucose takes place. So, glycogen to glucose and then ATP generation would take place. Whenever glucose is broken down anaerobically, we know lactic acid is produced. And as lactic acid concentration goes on increasing, the muscle gets into fatigue. And that is why we are using this word sustain. So if a muscle is in the contracted state, what are the things which are going to happen is initially ATP will be used, then creatine phosphate, which is the second phosphagen, will help in production of ATP. And if still energy requirement is continued, then anaerobic breakdown will take place. Anaerobic breakdown, number one, it provides less energy, plus there is lactic acid accumulation. So if it goes on for a longer period of time, lactic acid accumulates, and because it's breakdown, also requires ATP. So there is no ATP plus there is no oxygen. So if there is no oxygen, lactic acid breakdown will not take place. It is going to go on accumulating there. And if lactic acid accumulates, then the muscle does not respond to that stimulus or fails to contract. This we can understand from a simple uh, activity when we perform some kind of a rigorous exercise. Initially, when we stay, we are uh, running. So initially ATP will be supplied, then again ATP from creatine phosphate and after that we start feeling that our muscles are getting jammed. They are not moving with the same efficiency. That is because of lactic acid and after some time we will have to stop running because now the muscle is not going to contract even after getting the stimulus because of this lactic acid. This stage is known as a muscle fatigue stage or we can say that the muscle is under fatigue. The continuation of this, what is going to happen now? The muscle has stopped contracting. So now this lactic acid has to be removed. And now let us come to the second uh, term that is oxygen death. It is actually in continuation with the first stage. Lactic acid production is higher or more as compared to its breakdown. So there is a disparity. Lactic acid accumulation is more. Breakdown, lactic acid 
breakdown is less. Why is the breakdown less? Because here oxygen is required for the breakdown of lactic acid. Because oxygen is required. So no oxygen or less oxygen for the breakdown because some oxygen is also required for generation of ATP. So lactic acid goes on accumulating. This is the stage which is going to be achieved after some time or it will happen after some time. After we stop doing that rigorous activity or exercise, we keep breathing at a faster pace. So, after stopping the exercise, we continue breathing faster for some time. And why are we still, we have, we have stopped running. Why are we still breathing faster? The reason is the muscle is in oxygen debt. It requires more and more oxygen so that this accumulated lactic acid can be broken down. So here the muscle is in oxygen debt. That means it requires oxygen. It needs oxygen to break down this lactic acid which has accumulated. Once the lactic acid is gone, the muscle would come to its normal position and after receiving the stimulus, it would contract again. So these two things are basically connected. Initially, it's going to be the fatigue part and then after we stop that exercise or that activity because of this muscle fatigue, then we need oxygen to break down that lactic acid so that it is removed from the muscle and the muscle is again ready to contract. The third term is rigor mortis and this is actually when the muscle gets stiff after death. Now here there is a very interesting thing which we have to remember. We said ATP is required for muscle contraction because this actin myosin bridge is formed. We should also remember that ATP is also required for this bond to break. Which bond are we talking about? Actin myosin cross bridge to break. What does this mean? Let me draw that simple structure which we made earlier. This is the myosin head and this myosin head binds with the active site on the actin filament. For this cross bridge formation or actin myosin bridge formation, ATP is required. That ATP is hydrolyzed by this head itself and a part of energy is used to make a bond here and a part of energy for the movement of the head. Now this has happened. When this head comes back to its normal position, it has to detach from this actin. And that detachment also requires ATP. How does it require ATP? This ATP has to come and bind to this myosin head. Then this bond is going to break. Once this bond breaks, our myosin head is going to come back to its normal position and this active filament would be, this active site would be free here. So it can bind with the other one again. That means ATP requirement is for muscle contraction as well as for relaxation. When an animal dies after death, immediately or very quickly the ATP which is in the cell is exhausted. So take a situation that a muscle was in contracted state. The situation of the muscle was that the myosin was attached to the active site of the actin and after death ATP is exhausted. There is no ATP. So if there is there is no ATP. If there is no ATP, nothing is going to come and bind here. 
if nothing comes and binds to the myosin head, the myosin head will not be detached from the first active site. It is going to remain here. So it would remain attached to the first in the same position. It will not detach. So if after death, this detachment has not taken place, that means the muscle remains in this state, that means it remains contracted and it gets rigid. So after death, the rigidness of the muscle is due to complete exhaustion of ATP. There is no ATP remaining. So as ATP is not there, the muscle which is in a contracted state, whichever state it is, it will remain in that state and after death, body gets stiff. And that is why many a times we see that we find the dead body in different, uh, you know, postures, hand in some position, because when the person died and the muscle was contracted in a particular state, it remains in that form. So this condition that is stiffening of muscles after death is known as rigor mortis. So as I said, these are three important terms related with the muscle and the muscle contraction. So with this, we are done with the muscle part. In the next video, we will take up the skeleton that is bone cartilage and various types of bones.